Now, for most, Halloween means a lot of candy, but too much of it can end up hurting your pocketbook in the long run. Cavities are not cheap, and when indulging in the sweet stuff, local health experts are warning to be cautious of how much you let your kiddos enjoy. Our Miriam Chamberlain spoke with a mom and a pediatric dentist for some tips this Halloween weekend. Windy day like this, mom of one, Sarah Smith, likes to spend her afternoon at the park with her two and a half year old son. When asked about her plans for trick or treating this Halloween, Smith says she and her husband prefer treats that aren't candy for their son. Whenever people give out like the little bags of pretzels or like the little yogurt pouches or something like that. Her motivation is taking care of her son's teeth, reducing potential long term effects from sugary treats. He does get some candy every once in a while. Um, we just try to stay away from, you know, hard candies and things that like might harm his teeth. Growing up, Smith says she and her brother both wore braces. And when it came to trick or treating, her parents were stricter on her brother since he had the most cavities. I was allowed to have whatever. Now as a mom, she's implementing the same care for her son's dental health. We take him to the dentist all the time and his teeth are currently perfect. Dr. Norm Poorman, an Abilene pediatric dentist says, Too much of a good thing can be bad for you. Around this time of year, Dr. Poorman says he sees a lot of missing dental fillings and dental crowns because of all the sticky candy candy that kiddos eat during the Halloween weekend. If the candy you choose is really tacky, really sticky, or has added acid to it, or stays in the mouth for extended periods of time, that is usually the worst of candies. Dr. Poorman says trick-or-treating should be fun, and that includes sweet treats with some control. If you're worried about it or anything like that, just limit the amount of candy that they can have per day, because Halloween candy is going to last a long time. In Abilene, Miriam Chamberlain, KRBC, Abilene's Local News.